One of the first things I want to go over is different languages. There are different languages that you can use for different problems. There's some common ones, Java, kind of the C's as I call them, which would be C, C++, Objective-C. C Sharp is a little bit different, um, similar to Java, but um, in any case, there are a lot of different languages and they, they all have their, their purpose or place. Java is great for enterprise applications. C, C++, Objective-C, especially Objective-C, they've been more focused, they've been traditionally used for desktop applications. You can use uh, um, some of these for web development, but uh, there are specialty languages that are used for that and are typically more common. So speaking of web development, we have PHP, which is pure web, it's a scripting language, and uh, uh, it's easy development, it's a scripting language, you don't have to compile it and, um, and everything else. It, you can use it at runtime, you can interact with it at runtime. And so when you're doing iterative development, especially on the web, some of these scripting languages are, are easier to do that with than a strongly typed language that needs to be compiled. So Python is, is another great language. It can be used for the web. They're allowing you to, you can do desktop development with it. Typically when you do that, you're using more command line. There are some GUIs for it. There are some um, uh, uh, ways to compile it, but uh, typically that's, that's still a little bit emerging field. Um, Ruby is another web language. Again, you can use it on the desktop. There are some GUIs for it, um, but uh, again, there are better languages for that if you're doing strictly desktop development. Delphi Object Pascal. So this this has, uh, you can see from the position here, it's fallen off. If we show what it used to look like, you can see the usage. Um, it had its peak around 2004, 2005. It was steady and then went on a down slope. This may be on, this may have a, a bit of a comeback because of their strategy. Um, they've changed the strategy. This is a strong type language typically for desktop. It's focused on uh, Windows, Windows XP type development. And they've, they've come out with a new version that uh, will allow you to develop um, applications for Windows 32-bit, Windows 64-bit, um, Mac, and iPhone. And what, they're, what they've put on their roadmap is that you'll also be able to develop applications for um, Android and Linux. So this has the potential to um, be somewhat of a one-stop shop, although currently its usage is, uh, is a lot less than it used to be. And if you kind of combine that with Pascal, which has less than 1%, that would put it at like 1.9%, that would put it around number 11, which would be above Ruby, Ruby, but short of JavaScript. So again, different languages have different purposes, depending on what you want to do. If you want a one-stop shop, you might be able to try some of these. Um, these C, C++, they can be one-stop shops. Um, the GUI development tends to be different by platform. Unless you use something like a Qt, which will give you one GUI for uh, Windows, uh, Linux, and, and Mac. I haven't seen those on the iPhone or Android yet, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Um, Java, again, tends to be more enterprise uh, applications. Um, you know, think Oracle, SAP, uh, some of those big companies out there. And other ones are, are scripting languages, primarily for the web, but they may have some other usage as well. So that's it from a, from a language perspective. Again, you can look into these, see their trends, see where they're going, uh, see kind of the, the community adoption, but just wanted to give you an overview. Have a good one. Bye-bye.